All right then guys, welcome to the video. Pretty simple one today. I'm basically gonna be cleaning this engine bay because the last time this was done, it was done by Honda when I took it there for a service and they put this weird like engine stuff on it that basically made all the carbon look like matte carbon rather than gloss and basically over the months since then it's picked up loads of road grime and stuff and basically I just thought I'd give it a clean and because I've taken this bit out of the bonnet I'm gonna clean the bonnet down and stuff so it should look a lot better. Bought some detailing brushes from Halfords and massive thanks to Kaizen for sending out some Akira brand cleaning stuff. I've got the Citrus Duo Bug and Grime Remover which I'm gonna just spray all over and I'm trying to do this without using a hose or anything so I've actually just got this spray bottle which I actually bought for when I clean the interior so go check that video out if you're wanting something else to watch and then to finish it off Kaizen also sent out this nice little bit of spoon genuine spoon part it's a radiator cap so once it's all clean this can be like the prize to myself to put this on I don't really know what I'm doing so I'm just gonna spray some stuff and clean let's get into it So as you can see, it's pretty minging under here. I'm gonna start by spraying the bonnet because I don't know what I'm doing and this should be easier. I probably should have opened the detailing brushes before doing this, actually. The reason I got these Halford ones rather than getting some off Amazon was because I read the reviews on the Amazon ones and it said that the bristles would like fall off and stuff and I just thought it's more comeback on Halfords if they do that than if I get them off Amazon. So that's the reason. Well, there is already one in that packet, so yeah. Okay, now I've got the brush, so I'm going to spray this on. Don't forget as well, use my code OLLIEP3 for 5% off at Kaizen. Money off of this, off the spoon stuff, or anything else that you want for your car. Anyway, so I'm going to start spraying this on. So it turns out that this stuff dries pretty quickly. So I'm just adding this water to sort of make sure it doesn't dry, because that's the one thing I don't want to happen. But as you can see, it is pretty brown. Okay, so now I've sprayed that down and sort of rinsed it all off, I'm gonna wipe it away with just a microfiber towel. And hopefully we should have a clean bonnet. Let's see. <laughs> So I think I've done it. It looks cleaner. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest, but I'd say it looks cosmic gray. It looks better than it did. So I'm just gonna go with the fact that that's better. So next up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off my Skunk 2 reservoir and my spoon one, which I saw triggered a few people. I put it on there. I guess I'm gonna start at the back working forward. That seems to make logical sense. As you can see, there's just like dirt and stuff that's picked up on this. I'm gonna start this area basically and work my way this way. Right, so I'm gonna crack on with this, just get cleaning stuff and then I'll come back to you once it's a bit further along and I'll update you then. But yeah, it's going pretty well, things are starting to look really nice. Just yeah, just being careful around areas with electricity and what have you, but I'd say so far so good and I'll get back to you in a bit. So, don't drop your 10 mil. I was gonna take off my, my cover for my inlet manifold and I dropped the 10 mil socket in my fan shroud. So I've now got to get under the car to fish it out. So that's good advice. Don't drop it. I don't even know if I can reach it from here. I wish I could show you how I've got this. Oh my God. The dreaded 10 mil. I've got it. Yeah. Don't drop this. Right, we can carry on now. Let's get this off without dropping anything this time. You ready for the minging? This should be pretty horrible under here, I'm pretty sure it is. So at this point, I'm not sure how much of this I'm actually gonna be able to get off. What I'm gonna do is lightly clean this, I think. I don't know. I'll try some stuff and I'll be back. 
Okay, I had a little go with it. I'm gonna leave it because most of this stuff is gonna come out eventually, hint, hint, on upgrades in the future. So I'm just gonna leave it because it is pretty disgusting and it makes way more sense to just do this when other bits go in. So what I'm gonna do is just put the cover back on because you don't even see this, most of this stuff anyway. All right, now I've put this cover back on, I'm gonna move on to doing like the battery tray and area and stuff. But what I found, I've wiped down areas like this before in the past and that made a massive difference. So I'm hoping that's gonna make a difference again. So yeah, this front area now that I'm concentrating on basically. <laughs> is looking a little cleaner. It's definitely made a difference. It's just, I think, it's not necessarily that it's like perfectly clean because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not a detailer and I don't really like it, but it's more just clean surfaces, especially the paint. It just makes it look so different. I've never given the engine bay this much of a clean before, so I've, I guess I've never seen it like this. I think I'm done, apart from one or two little areas but it looks way different. Yeah, I think I've done it the best I can without taking anything major out. Like I could take the fuse box area out, like unmount that and clean behind it. And I just, I don't really need to do that. We're at the end, which means it's time for the spoon radiator cap because it comes in this super cool spoon packaging. Look at that. Oh, it says made in Japan on it. I'm hoping nothing explodes out. Okay. So that's on, and then get the Spoon Sport sticker straight on. I'd say that's about right. Now that that's on, it's finished. So then guys, finished it and yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. It's turned out pretty well considering I have no idea what I'm doing and I've only used this product. So this Citrus Duo bug and grime remover stuff, pretty good. I definitely recommend picking something up like this. This one, if you want to use my discount code or whatever you want to use for doing this and give your engine base some love basically and then tying it all together with the Spoon Sports radiator cap. It looks so good and it's black and red which matches the theme of the engine bay. So I'd say it was worth it. Doesn't really cost that much to do it. Makes the engine bay look a lot nicer. Yes, I could have gone to a lot more detail in doing this but I don't really like doing it. I just thought it would look nice if I did to this level. Obviously there's people out there that'll do way further than this so Hopefully this has inspired you to give this sort of thing a go. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment down below if you're gonna give this a go, if you're gonna pick up any of this stuff, or maybe guess the hints I gave you earlier on what could be coming soon. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.